viruses are non-cellular infectious agents that can infect and replicate within cells of organisms such as plants, animals and bacteria. Today we're gonna take a look at the structure and the features of a virus. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on new science videos. Even though you may often read in all the school books that a virus is not classified as an organism, it is still an ongoing debate whether they can be considered living or non-living. There is in fact an increasing number of scientists saying that a virus has indeed characteristics of a living thing. However, per definition a virus and its processes such as replication or protein biosynthesis rely on the metabolism of the host cell. Viruses come in many shapes. There are helical, polyhedral, spherical and complex viruses such as the bacteriophage. There is no such thing as a general structure, but there are distinct features that are shared between some groups of viruses. Some components are found in every virus, some others are exclusive to certain subtypes. The most important component of a virus is its genome. Any virus possesses a nucleic acid that carries the genetic information required for the synthesis of essential proteins. The main function of a virus is to replicate the genome to produce more of its kind. In parts, the replication machinery of the host cell is exploited to this cause. Viruses are often classified according to the type of nucleic acid. Some viruses have a genome out of single-stranded DNA, others possess double-stranded DNA. There are also viruses with single-stranded RNA or double-stranded RNA as genetic information. The genetic information is surrounded and protected by the capsid, sometimes also referred to as protein code. Any virus has this feature. The protein code is made up of small repeating subunits called capsomeres. These protein building blocks are encoded within the viral genome. In addition to the capsid, not all but some viruses have an external lipid membrane known as the envelope. The envelope lipids are not encoded by the viral genome. Instead, the lipid envelope is derived from the host membrane on the way out of the cell. Further, within the envelope of some viruses there may be glycoproteins. The genetic information encoding those lies within the viral genome. The glycoproteins may facilitate binding of the virus to receptor sites on the host cell or assist in entry into target cells. A few viruses also have their own enzymes. The retrovirus, for instance, contains a reverse transcriptase. Just like the envelope, enzymes are also not a universal feature of all viruses. Overall, the structure of a virus is simple, but effective. The genetic material and protein code work together to allow the virus to enter host cells, replicate inside and spread to new cells, ultimately causing disease. More interesting and topic related videos can be found here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if it was helpful. I am especially thankful for the members of this channel. Means a lot. Thanks for watching.